Hello everybody, C-Slug here, and I was tagging this Pokemon tag thing that's been going around. And uh, basically it's just uh, 28 questions that you just answer and then you tag two other people. So, you know, it sounds kind of fun, so let's just, you know, get started here. Anyway, first question here, what's your favorite Pokemon type? Uh, honestly, it's kind of hard for me to say, but I'd probably go with water because I have a lot of really favorite Pokemon that are part of the water type, like Oshawott and Gastrodon. And, uh, I guess Pelipper, even though he's not really that much of a competitive Pokemon. I like to use Rotom Wash a lot, so definitely water would be one of them. If not the, uh, if not you know my absolute favorite. When I was like, when I first got into Pokemon, I used to really like flying, but problem was that there really wasn't as many good flying type Pokemon back then. So I would actually like train up Delibirds and fucking Murkrows to like level 100, and it, I don't know, it was stupid. But uh, let's see here, favorite region. In terms of the region layout, I kind of want to say Hoenn back in the originals I would I kind of want to say it or Sinnoh in terms of region layout and just you know the Pokemon in it but when it comes to favorite like generation or region as in you know which one I had the most fun with I would probably have to say black and white so yeah I don't know what's it called uh, Diamond and Pearl I really just like the layout and uh, Ruby Sapphire it, they're both I don't know kind of pretty similar they both got berries and stuff like that but when it comes to black and white, that's when, you know, I got into competitive Pokemon battling and, you know, the Y5 uh, Battle Finder for, with a small one was still up. So I would actually just be in my, on my kitchen, just with my laptop, uh, notebook, and a pen with my DS, just looking for battles and just having battles. And I don't know, I just had a lot of fun back then with it. Uh, especially, you know, with Pokemon, it just took away a lot of the stress that came with trying to get a good nature and not even knowing about the EVs and IVs and stuff like that. But let's see here, which Pokemon games do I own? I own a lot of Pokemon games. Uh, I could list them all off, or I could just show you guys a picture because I, I honestly don't even know. But some of the ones or some of the most notable ones that I do have are Pokemon Ruby Sapphire Box even though that's not really much of a game I'm just really happy to have that and uh, uh, I guess I own all of the third generation Pokemon games which is really cool I really like how uh, Pokemon Ruby Sapphire and Emerald all look together unfortunately my Fire Red doesn't have a label but oh well at least you know the cart is red so I can tell it apart but uh, one other Pokemon game that I do have that's probably not going to be on that picture is going to be all my downloaded stuff like Pokemon X. I downloaded that game because I could not wait to play X and Y and I just did not want to wait like an extra few hours to go pick it up at the store. So uh, yeah, let's see here. Next question. Do you watch the anime? I stopped watching the anime once they got to like the fifth generation. Or once they got to like black and white, that's kind of when I stopped because uh, Diamond and Pearl was actually pretty cool. And then Battle Frontier was going on when I was still like, you know, smaller and you know, the anime was still, you know, cool, I guess you can say. It was up until they got to black and white where they decided to hit the reset button and, you know, not start with new characters and all that, but they just decided to make Pikachu's level go down, back down to fucking one because. He loses to, I think, a Snivy in that anime, like, for the first gym badge, which is pretty retarded, if you ask me. That Pikachu should just be able to, you know, win all <laughs> freaking eight badges, but, uh, let's see here how many seen in the Pokedex of my last game. It's gonna have to be, like, yeah, the next two questions, the how many have I seen, how many have I owned, that's gonna have to be... Yeah, that's gonna have to be, uh, all of them, every single last one of them, because I fucking... Well, for uh, Pokemon X and Y, I caught all the all the section Pokemon, and you know I kind of worked on the Pokedex. But once Pokebank came out, I kind of just filled up the last like 200 just by Pokegenning. I kind of just filled up the last 200 slots. So basically, in my Pokebank, I have every single Pokemon. So I have in order like Ivysaur or no, no Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, all the way up to the last Pokemon. I have one of each. 
And since Pokebank just lets you deposit all of your Pokemon into all of the newer games, I, that pretty much just means a complete Pokedex. Like, five minutes after you put new game. So, you know, that's that, I guess. Uh, do you even like Pokemon? Of course I like Pokemon. I, I don't know, I liked Pokemon ever since, like, I got my first Pokemon game. Even before then, I remember trying to watch the anime, like, the first generation, because the anime would come out. It's weird, uh, the way my uh, channel thingy worked, because uh, over here, like, on the west coast with cable and dish or whatever, we're, like, I think we're behind or ahead, I don't know, but it just made the show appear, like, really late at night, so I wasn't able to watch it up until it came out on Boomer, and I think that's when I started to watch it. That and uh, Cartoon Network, they, I remember they would air it, like, at 3 every day, so... Yeah, I really like Pokemon. Uh, do you like collecting the cards? I don't because, I don't know, you just go in the store, you see the nice packaging, and then you see that you have to pay like $10, $15 just for cards, and I don't know. I don't even know how to play the game. I just like looking at the pictures, so 15 20 bucks just to look at the pictures. Not really worth it. Uh, there are some little... Uh, stores that sell fake Pokemon cards that have, you know, equally good pictures, so I I would probably just buy one of those and have fun looking at those. But let's see here. Uh if you if you have the trading cards, do you play or just collect? No, I don't have shit. I don't have any legit Pokemon cards that I know of. I remember some kid at school gave me some of his cards and they were pretty cool. He gave me like a Ted year so they had the uh how it's called the e-reader scanner on the side and it, and like you scanned it and it brought you to like this Teddy Earth game which is kind of cool but I lost all of those cards uh, do you draw Pokemon uh, no I don't and did I ever draw Pokemon uh, only if you counted uh, tracing then yeah I guess you can say I drew but no I, I, I suck at drawing <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, let's see here. I really like Gastron, so I'm probably gonna have to say that one. Or, I don't know, I'll just say that just to keep this thing simple, but then they have to go ahead and ask what's your second favorite, and that one's probably a lot harder. I don't know, I really like Ampharos, Sashua, I, I, I don't know, I just like a lot of Pokemon. I just, like, I, I just cannot say. Like, I would... Like I would literally have to like pull out a piece of paper and start doing like weird calculations just to try to figure out which out of like 700 is my favorite or second favorite. So those two are definitely hard questions to ask uh, Pokemon fans. Anyway, do you know what number 493 in the National Dex is? Uh, 493, that is the number that was on the Pokedex in Diamond Pro Platinum. That was like the final number that you saw on your save file once you completed everything. And that one's obviously Arceus. That's just, that's just Arceus number. That's just how it works. 493. That's the number we were at in 4th gen. Uh, let's see here. Would you rather have a Meowth or a Growlithe? i rather have a Growlithe because they are fucking awesome. And I love them. Uh, do you have... Do any of your relatives play Pokemon? My sister kind of plays it as though she's not really into it as I am. And my cousins, I have two cousins that were the ones that got me into it since they were the ones that gave me uh, Pokemon Ruby as a present for some weird catechism thingy. Uh, let's see here. How often do you think about Pokemon? Not very often. Only really when I get onto my computer and I see like a Pokemon video or, you know, if I feel like actually, you know, playing it. But not really off, not really that often. Uh, let's see here. I should probably highlight where I'm at. Uh, okay, here we go. Ha, uh, do you hide the fact that you like Pokemon from real life friends? Well, all of my friends they know that I play it, but when it comes to new people, I usually don't bring it up unless they do. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, what pets do you have that resemble Pokemon? I have three fishes that I guess you can say are Magikarp, so the only one of them is Golden. Uh, my brother and sister, they have a hamster, so that would be a Dedenne. And then I have two cats, which would be 
uh, two purloins because I don't know purloin just resembles real life cats the most because me cats cannot stand on their paws or on their feet like meow and they're not all pink like freaking skitty uh, let's see here what Pokemon do I hate the most uh, I really hate I, I would have to say competitively and just I don't know in general I, I really hate Snorlax I just hate that piece of shit I'm um, you know Pokemon red and blue and whatever he stops you or he just leaps on the bridges and you have to go get the poke flute which when I was a kid fire red leaf green were some of the harder games I had to pass they were really hard and then you know just being stopped by this fucking Snorlax was quite annoying and then also when I uh, you know found out how to play Pokemon third generation online like on emulators and stuff Snorlax was one of the most pain in the ass Pokemon's that I would have to deal with because that son of a bitch would just never die I mean if you poison him he'll rest he'll body slam you get you paralyzed he'll probably poison you and I don't know I just I really just do not like Snorlax like that's definitely one of the Pokemon's that I hate the most because there's some like I guess you can say like the ice cream Pokemon and some like uglier Pokemon I guess people like to trash on out there but they really don't do much and like when you think of Pokemon you really don't really think of them they just never come to mind but Snorlax is just that one Pokemon that does that I can't stand which Eevillusion do I like the best uh definitely not Flareon fuck that piece of shit he sucks uh, I would probably say Espeon. I really like Espeon, although I am also, you know, a big fan of Sylveon. I don't know, I just like a lot of them. Even the Glaceon and, uh, and the Grass one, I think they're pretty cool, but out of all of them, uh, the one I spent the most time with has to be uh, Espeon. I, you know, in Pokemon Coliseum, I kind of just left Umbreon in the box and, you know, just continued to game with Espeon. Uh, you know, you having him, you know, spam psychics and all that stuff. And also in XD, I did play the game through with Espeon uh, a couple times. So, I don't know, I really like just, I really do like Espeon. Uh, even though I never really used it all that much competitively. The competitive one would probably have to be Umbreon or Jolteon. But in terms of the one that I spent more time with, just, you know, playing, it has to be Espeon. I really do like Espeon. Uh, mainly just... You know, the, his animation with Psychic, I don't know. It definitely has to be because of the uh, two uh, Genki memes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, which cast form, form is the best? Well, cast form kind of fucking sucks. But if I had to pick one, I'd probably... I kind of want to go with either the Rain or Hail one. Uh, I'll just go with the Rain one just because Hail is kind of dumb. So yeah, the Rain one. There you go. Uh, which Deoxys form is the best? I kind of want to say Attack because it looks pretty freaking awesome and I kinda just like I don't know it has the highest attack stats so that's mainly why speed's cool and all but just you know attack that's just even cooler uh, let's see here Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres I will have to go with Zapdos because uh, Moltres and Articuno they die because of the rocks and Zapdos is pretty cool I used to use them a lot back in uh, Fire Red Leaf Green to destroy the Elite Four and you know grind experience. Lugia or Ho Ho, I will have to definitely go with Ho Ho just because he's a lot cooler. I just like the whole thing with him appearing like at the end of the first episode. You know, uh, Rainbow appears behind him, and uh, also in third gen, he was actually very difficult to get. Uh, you could get him, but he was extreme, extremely difficult because of what you had to do with, in uh, Pokemon Coliseum. And I never actually did uh, be Coliseum to the point where you got Ho Ho, but I did, uh, you know, ended up doing that just a couple of years ago, but never when I was a kid. So Ho Ho is just, you know, that cool. I don't know, I just really like Ho Ho. Plus, he, plus, you know, like I said, I liked flying Pokemon uh, back when I was a kid, so Ho Ho was just a pretty damn cool one. And uh, which two people will I tag? Well, let's see here. I will tag Lexu7 and uh, Mulbo19. So there you have it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this came out okay. I wanted to do this with a webcam, but I don't. I can't figure out how to get the webcam to record and my boys to record at the same time without them desyncing or getting all messed up or whatever. I don't know. 
I should probably find a way to do that because I've been wanting to do like a collection video. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, later, folks.